All right. Good morning. Good evening to some. This is your brother Daniel. Uh, so I woke up this morning, second day morning, and in here cleaning out this garage. I'm trying to clean out every corner and crevice in this house so I can get up out of here. But I, um, you know, I was thinking, and it really make you question. It, 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 here's what I mean. Okay, so I hear Christians all the time. I love Jesus. I love God. I love God. I love God. I love God. Oh, I love Jesus. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. I hear all that. And, and then, the, the, then the who I am, that, that right there irritates me because he says, if I be lifted up, I draw them in. But here they talk about who they are. I mean, it irritates me. But okay, so look. But here's the thing. You love Jesus, you love God in, in all of what you say, but you get so vexed at his word. What type of spirit is that? Seriously. What type of spirit is that? That you can hear the word of the one you say you love, but it vexes you. That you become angry and you become upset. Think about that. What type of spirit is that? It really makes you question what's in them. When you can see the, 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 the anger and when you can see it, them just manifest when the Bible, the book they say they believe in, the book they say they love, being spoken. Like, that should really make you question something. And they say, oh, well, you know, this and that. It, uh, oh, why, why you got to use the Bible? This is the same book you say you believe in and love. But the fact of the matter is, is this sharp and it'll cut you up. You know, I heard pastor say this, um, I think when he was in Michigan, and he said, this book will hurt you. And that's the flat out truth. That thing will, that book will cut you up, but it's all on how you receive it. Does it cut you up that it makes you want to just avoid and not deal with it anymore? Or do I deal with the people that are speaking what's in the book? <laughs> I got a text yesterday. How about this one? I got a text in, from an individual, an individual that I love dearly, dearly. But here's a text. It said, is there any paperwork that came with the bed? This person just bought a bed they, they needed, they recommended. I recommended them a type of bed to get because they're having back issues. She said, is there any paperwork that should have came with the bed that I got? Because they just gave me a story number and it doesn't, um, it doesn't, uh, she, they said that's the only thing that they got. They didn't get a warranty number or something. And then I, the, the text continues to read and says, and um, I hope you don't have to consult the Bible to give me an answer for this. And don't call because I don't want to talk to you. Because obviously this individual is mad at the stance I've taken, which is to follow his commandments. Now think about that. Think about the sarcasm in that. And think about that. It, it just says to me, but you say you love him and you're saved and sanctified under the blood. But you get mad and then you turn around and say to me, I hope you don't have to consult the Bible to give me an answer on this. Just listen to that. <laughs> well, me being me, I thought about replying and saying something, something just foolish to say hey in the book of uh, uh the book of third daniel chapter 10 verse 22 it says miss me with your sarcasm and then i was going to quote matthew after that and said and, and then now the real the real book says let your yes mean your yes and your no mean your no because the person said on the text i just need a yes or a no <laughs> so that's how i was going to reply <laughs> but i didn't reply i just left it alone i just thought like what manifests up in you when you can hear the word that you say you love and believe? 
But the fact of the matter is, is it's because it challenges you and it makes you make a decision whether you're going to obey it or not. That's the issue. But it is what it is. Tell me what you think. I would love to hear your feedback on this one. I really, really would. Tell me what you think. Shalom, shalom.